Everything Sequel is brought to you by Slater's 5050 and Brew Bar. The Everything Sequel podcast contains explicit language. Because we learned it from you, Dad. yippee ki motherfuckers, and welcome to the Everything Sequel Podcast. This is Michael Schantz of the How Dare You Awards. With me, the fantastic Tom Stewart of Lonesome Whistle Productions. Say hi, Tom. How can the same shit happen to the same guy twice? <laughs> so, we are here with our first mini-sode, and our mini-sodes will now... Uh, They'll come in between series, dear listeners. We will tell you uh, which movie we are going to be doing, and we will rank them and declare them good or bad in this uh, new mini-sode. So, obviously, as Tom has pointed out, we're going to be doing the Die Hard series. That's what's coming up next with the Everything Sequel podcast. Tom, Yes. are you excited? Uh, die Hard, yeah. This is a this is a big a uh, lot of big milestones for us here. It's our first sequel quadrilogy, right? Uh, which is quite a rare bird in the sequel world. There aren't that many of them. Yeah. Um, it's uh, the first time we're dealing with a group of films over such a huge amount of time. Yeah. Twenty three years. Time. This yeah. This uh, sequel quadrilogy covers. Um, this, Two centuries and a millennia, <laughs> right? Across in, in this series, that's the uh, breadth and width of this series. Yeah, um, and uh, and Bruce Willis's hair hair disappears yeah. throughout. I was just gonna say, days. when you watch the last Die Hard, and you know you compare it to the first Die Hard, you're like, wow, it's been some time. It really, yeah, it really has. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I guess the the other thing that struck me is that you know when I was doing the ranking for this, I've never ranked up in this series as much as I have with these films. These films are like love interests vying for my attention. Yeah, <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about because, I mean, I gotta tell you, like, it's fucking hard to rank these movies. It really is. It really is. I just, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm actively looking for things wrong with these movies uh, so I can rank them because, you know, my overall impression is, is just is love and, and complete forgiveness of all the of all the terrible things that happen for the yes. most part. And I, I, yeah. it doesn't apply to every single film, but uh, there, there's so much good stuff going on here. I, I am, you know, I, I'm nitpicking a lot of the time. Yeah, well, so this is what happened with me as I was trying to rank them because I, well, okay, let's just put aside for for starters, first and first mostlies, the last one to me, I'll just put that aside because that's the piece of shit of the bunch. So a good day to die hard is last for me. Right. Okay. But, well, but, I don't think it's too much of a spoiler to say. That, uh, you know, I still haven't seen the extended cut, but it's probably not going <laughs> to change my opinion too much. I don't movie. think so. Right. So, but, but two, three, and four, the fascinating thing to me about trying to rank these movies is that, I mean, there's, there's so much interesting shit, shit to weigh yeah. between these three movies, it, you know, like... From beginning to almost end, <laughs> I would say that four is the best yeah. of those three sequels. But has like a really unsatisfying ending mm. and doesn't have kind of the oomph that the other two movies, I think, have as far as the bad guys. You talk, like... You're talking about... Are you, are you talking about... Uh... Live free and die hard. Live, live free, free and die hard. Yeah. Is it a? And I forget. Is it a question or is it a, is it an and? 
Is it? <laughs> it's an ad. What is that movie yeah. title offering? <laughs> well, I mean, if you can't include the license plate from New Hampshire, I mean, what are we doing here? You know? Uh, I, I've um, I, I've always known it as Die Hard 4.0 because of uh, that's it was that's the the title it was released under until uh, the studio came in and changed it last minute. So everywhere else in the world, world it's still known. as I do Die know Hard that. 4.0. Yeah, I know that everywhere else in the world, it's Die Hard 4.0. <laughs> and apparently, this is this is the the title that the director and star both um, both prefer. Both prefer, yeah, uh, yeah. The, well, there's a lot less to unpack than. You know, live free, live free or die and die hard. hard. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah no, I, I mean, you know, I, I'm, I, well, I'm, we'll, we'll get into it pretty quickly. But I, again, I mean, yeah, obviously, know. we're going to talk about all these sequels in each of our episodes. Right. But like I said, you but know, spo- spo- I mean, you know, spoiler alert. I, I, I um, that one really came out on top for me in a way that I didn't think it was going to. Yeah, I was talking with friends the other day. And they uh, they were adamant. They were like, well, let's get one thing straight. Two is the best. And I said, no. <laughs> hmm. I said, you're wrong. But well, it's heartening to hear two. that. I mean, I, I, it's, it's, uh, it's heartening to hear that because that is a much maligned film. Um, and Rennie Harlan is a much maligned director. And neither of those, uh, neither of those opinions I subscribe to. No, yeah. <laughs> fuck those people. They're yeah, wrong. fuck people. If there's one thing you take away from this podcast, <laughs> it's fuck people. They're the worst. <laughs> I hate them. So, and that's the thing is, like, the one thing you can't take away from number two is it's got the best ending. It's got the best death of bad guys. I, I, I this is, this is really hard for, I have literally nothing, I have so little that's bad to say about uh, two, three, and four. That yeah, you, exactly. You, you throw something like that at me. I'm like, yeah, sure, sure. And then, and, and then on the other an, thing, and then on another people... day, I'll be like, Die Hard with a Vengeance. The first half of that movie's flawless. I'll be like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what are you doing on Thursday night? Right. <laughs> Wednesday and Friday are a little busy, but what about Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people tend to say. Um, that by far, Die Hard with a Vengeance is the weakest of all of them. And I do not subscribe to that either. I think that's nonsense. That That is nonsense. Um, it's such a good movie. And that movie's trying to do more than any of the other movies. Yeah, yeah, it is definitely. It may, have, it may slightly become a victim of its own ambition, but... Um... Uh, you know, large swathes of that movie are pretty much perfect, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's fucking great. All right, so <laughs> so here's the thing. How do you rank them? How do I? I are you asking specific or are you asking in a philosophical sense? <laughs> I'm asking specific. Oh, I mean, get philosophical uh, if you feel well, you I... must before you declare, but... yeah. Well, yeah, I, I had to. I, I had. To but it was gut wrenching for me to make this decision. I had to come up with a system, you know, to 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 justify this, and I think I've managed it. Um, so I'm gonna go, um, not to piggyback on your uh, your uh, friends, but um, I'm gonna go two, four, <laughs> three, and five. <laughs> All right. So normally, you tell me your ranking, or you tell me whether or not they're good or bad, and you upset me, and I have to tell you that you're a dumbass. That's right. Yeah. Don't give a, don't can... give don't give away the formula to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no one will Sorry. ever listen again. Yeah, I, I pulled the curtain back there. My, <laughs> my apologies, everyone. So, but the thing is, is like I cannot for a single moment find fault with that ranking. Yeah, even uh, yeah. though what, whatever you're going to say, I'm not going to find fault with either. Yeah, even though <laughs> and I got to tell you, this was so hard for me. And if you ask me tomorrow, it might be different. Yeah. But today my ranking was four. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Just do it. Just do it. Just 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 let it happen. It's, OK, for me, it was four, three, two. 
Yeah. Five. Sorry, I forgot about five. Uh, yeah, because I don't well, even we're consider we're it. We're su- assuming that, like, if, when I mentally when I mentally say these out loud, there's like uh, there's like about twenty word document spaces between them three, <laughs> two, three, and four, and five. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um. Yeah. You know, I I think that's totally arguable. That it's that it is like I I've just focused. I've like okay. So, in the world of sequ- in the world of sequels, in what I want a sequel to do for me, not just what I want a Die Hard to do for me, right? That was what my ranking was based on. Um, but that was hard. Well, to that do makes because... complete sense to me based on how you've described to me before what you want a sequel to do. Yeah, but even that doesn't make sense now. I think about it because you know. Die, Die Hard Two is is uh, samey same same. Yeah, completely. Uh, it's I mean, in the it, the it's band in the is Jaws back, two brother. Category <laughs> of it's, replication. Yeah, I mean, it's like they're trying to make a shot for shot remake in a different city in a different venue. Yeah, but they are trying to make the same movie. Yeah, but and they the, do the it other, well. The it's done and they well. They deserve credit for that, but I think four narrowly deserves more credit than three. And we'll get into this, but I think all the problems in, in Die Hard with a Vengeance are in the second half of the movie. Well, certainly for me in the last five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I think before that. I think I think almost exactly at the, at the hour mark, this movie takes a big old dump. <laughs> a dump? Yeah. That seems harsh. It is harsh, but again, I'm like, you know, uh, I gotta go out with one of these ladies. You know, it's blind date time. I gotta, I gotta look for the floors where they are. Who's behind door number two? <laughs> yeah, and a number two is behind door number two. <laughs> All right, so we have our rankings. Tom is. Two, four, three, five. Mm-hmm. I am four, three, two, five. I'm so glad we agree five is at the end. Yeah, sadly. Let's talk about good, bad. Hmm. Uh, how do you see it? How do I see it? Oh, God. Um. Again, I don't. This isn't very interesting to listen to, but uh, just uh, Die Hard Two is a good movie. What say you? Oh, Die Hard, good, Die Hard 2 is a good movie. Okay. Die Hard with a Vengeance is a good movie. What say yes. you? Agreed. Uh, and, well, I don't even need to... I mean, I, Die Hard with a Vengeance is a good movie. Absolutely. Uh, okay. A and, good day to die hard, Okay, so though. the only dispute is over, is over five. Is there, are there any surprises there? Well, maybe from you. You you seem. What? Don't, <laughs> I, I never. Don't, don't prejudice this. <laughs> you you, no, often you know, might you know say what? a piece and of shit is a good movie. You know what? I, I think watching these movies in succession, I was so set up to enjoy a good day to die hard. Like I thought, I'm going to be generous here because yeah, I, I had I'm that happy thought. to be watching these movies. Right. I had that thought. I thought. You know what? I'm going to like this movie more than the first time I saw it. And the first time I saw it was in 2013 in a movie theater when it actually came out. Right. And then it ended and I thought, nope. <laughs> yeah, and but, but, it's then, still bad. but then as I was watching it, I realized, I was like, oh, it's going against all the instincts of what makes a good Die Hard movie. So yeah, fuck completely. you, person who thinks he's doing a Bond film. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, no, it, I, that, that, that for me is a bad movie with some, with some quality moments, no doubt, but they are few and far between. I'll say. And, and Bruce Willis is dead inside. Yeah, he, he really, <laughs> there's, well, well, we'll, we'll save it for the episode. Like, <laughs> there, there's there's still plenty to say to, about a good you, day you know to what? die hard. I have hard. nothing else to say about that. He's dead inside. There's nothing, <laughs> nothing else to say. <laughs> That'll be our shortest podcast ever. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're t- talking about A Good Day to Die Hard. 
Um, John McClane's dead inside in that movie, and so is Bruce Willis. Yeah. That's it for no, today. No, John McClane's not dead inside. John McClane is more emotionally connected than he's ever been before. Bruce Willis, the actor, <laughs> is dead inside. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's uh, that that does it for our first mini-sode. Please find us on Facebook. Find us on Instagram. Find us on Twitter. It's the Everything Sequel Podcast. Tell us how you rank them. Tell us which movies you think are good or bad. You might get on an episode if you're clever and quick and fun. Tom, anything else or, to add Or not, that's we go? not a prerequisite. What's that? Or not, that's not a prerequisite. Oh, fine. That, that, that's our brand. <laughs> no need to be fun or amusing. <laughs> We're not doing that, so why should we right. expect it of you? Right. All right. That's it for our first mini-sode. Stay tuned. In the coming days or week or so, we'll be dropping Die Hard 2 coming at you. Take care, everyone. If you're anything like me, you spend the majority of the day wondering whether you want coffee, beer, or wine. Whichever way you fall, Brew Bar has you covered. Located in the heart of 3rd Avenue Village in glorious downtown Chula Vista, California, which is also my neck of the woods, Brew Bar is a coffee shop, bar, and eatery rolled into one delightful package. Tim and Alex run the place, and let me tell you listeners, these guys know their coffee. And after you've been in their company, so will you. They turn me on to pour over, and it's literally all I drink now. If for some crazy reason you don't want to try the best coffee in the world, they've got espresso drinks, all kinds of teas, and even coffee cocktails. You heard me. Coffee tails. And we're just getting started. Bottle service on craft beer and wine, alcoholic and caffeinated potions, an all-day food menu with plenty of vegan options. All served up in an atmosphere hip enough to know you're getting the best quality, but not too hip that you feel the need to drive to 7-Eleven and get a bucket of brown swill. Brew Bar. It's the best place to be for beer, wine, coffee and tea. And if you go, you might even see me. Look, people, we're living in strange times. We know that, don't we? Of course we do. People don't even know what to do with themselves. We're getting stir crazy. Well, get outside and get yourself some great food, I say. You need to go to Slater's 5050 in Point Loma's Liberty Station. It's time to treat yourself to booze, to beer, to burgers, and more. They have their full menu, people. Their full menu, I say. How many restaurants do you know that are doing that? Most places are doing a quarter of their menu, probably. Some might be doing a half. Maybe a few have got three quarters of a menu. But Slater's 5050 has their full menu, including their signature 5050 patty. It's half ground beef. It's half ground bacon. It's 100% delicious. What more could you possibly ask? Worried about social distancing? Well, it is in place, people. Tables are separated, and the staff will always be seen wearing masks. You're out of excuses. Get off your keister and come on down to Liberty Station's own Slater's 5050. Indoor dining available. Outdoor dining available. Bring the family. Bring your dog. Come enjoy the normal again. Good day to you. I said good day. <laughs>